It's beer o'clock on Real L Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer called Miller's Blonde. It's in a 330 milliliter bottle and it's by Bottleneck Brewery. Beer Vo and Do Matten. That's my best Netherlands accent right there. It's a 330 milliliter bottle. The beer's coming in at 7.5%. ABV and it's a blonde silver bottle cap on this one without further ado let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get um, I want to read the description or well, not the description sorry I want to read the letter that was sent with this particular beer from the guys in the Netherlands because uh, I believe for three of the people who sent me the beer there was four in total. Uh, this beer has been brewed in their hometown and they're really proud of it. And why not? Why not be proud of beer coming from your own town? We have a brewery here in Barry. I don't talk about it enough, but it's called Vale of Glamorgan Brewery. And, you know, I'm proud of the fact that Barry has its own brewery. And so should these guys in the Netherlands. Local beer for local people. Absolutely brilliant. This beer has got a one finger white head. Blonde coloured beer. Looks fantastic. Small carbonation. Looks really, really good. Rocking the beer back and forth. You can see the carbonation chasing the head of the glass. Yeah, it just looks a really, really good beer. It's bottle conditioned. You can see the little bits of sediment there in the bottom of the glass. Nice and hazy, very modern like, isn't it? Hazy blonde beer. Even the wood pigeon agrees, I think. Right, let's get the aroma on this one. Oh, that's got some miles per hour behind it that's got some oomph wow you do get a small sense of that 7.5 percent abv it's not kind of big alcohol kind of aromas on the beer it's more a sense of the body of the beer by getting it to 7.5% ABV, the brewers had to add more malt. Because you add more malt, you create more sugar. More of that sugar is eaten by the yeast. And the ABV goes up. So you can almost get a sense of the body of the beer by just getting the aroma. It's a, it's a nice biscuitiness. Light kind of wafer aromas coming through but spicy and peppery and very almost herbal like yeah almost like corianders and spicy and peppery it smells fantastic let's dive in cheers everybody Oh, that's delightful. Oh. What a delightful beer that is. Tootsy, fruity, spicy, peppery. It's rich. It's malty, as I kind of gathered, as I kind of suspected with that aroma. It's got a lovely mouthfeel to it, but it's still fantastically drinkable. That is superb beer. Carbonation pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. That is really, really good beer. Really, really good beer. It's a lovely blonde. Lovely blonde. I love, I love a Dutch blonde. Who doesn't love a Dutch blonde, eh? The 
look at that. Look at that. Look at the way that beer is recreating that head. It's looking wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Good lacing, good carbonation, good head retention. Beautiful beer, beautiful beer. And now I'm able to really wash the beer around in the glass and then get the aroma. It's just... It's lemony and spicy and almost coriander-like, like, like Indian spices, Indian, Italian herbs. Do you know why I'm, I'm, I'm smiling? Because this beer could get you in serious trouble rather quickly. It really could. Um, I'm drinking that beer, 7.5% ABV, and it is going down like a treat. It's the middle of summer here in the UK, literally within that week of uh, where we're heading towards the 21st of June, the longest day. And we're in that kind of weird week or two. We only get it for a few weeks in the UK where it's boiling hot, you can't sleep. It's, 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 light most of the time you don't really see much darkness um and you're constantly tired because you're awake and you're hot and you're sweaty but you don't mind you don't mind because it's impossible to, to, to like graft all day in its heat so it's not like it's 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 like your lack of sleep and then you're grafting all day i mean Tell that to my wonderful Polish scaffolder friend who works all day doing scaffolding. But even he's home by two o'clock. He's home by two, three o'clock in the afternoon. Just because of the heat, it's just too hot to work. So he's going into work earlier to get over the fact that it's like midday sun working, boiling hot all day, putting scaffolding up. My, my point here, my point here is that this beer is dangerously drinkable and I could quite easily you know sit in the garden with a few of these and before you know it you're fast asleep in the hammock you know your wife comes in from work shaking you waking you up so, oh, Simon Simon what's going on <laughs> oh, oh. right meal is blonde this one hits close to home for three of us live in the wonderful village of Mirlo, where this beer is brewed. All the other beers are named after famous bands or songs, like the quadruple, Kashmir, which is named after the song from Led Zeppelin. Amazing, absolutely amazing brewery. Um, water, always oh, got some Amarillo and Saz in here, so it's kind of, yeah, kind of new worldy. With the Amarillo hops. Gonna rate it. Love it. Absolutely love it. Great aroma, great look, great taste. That is one of the best blonde beers I've ever tasted on the channel. 10 out of 10. Stone the Crows, 10 out of 10. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.